Hey YouTube, what's going on? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update on something I was studying today. And what we're going to be looking at here is Japanese candlestick charting techniques. And what this one is, is the bullish Harami cross. And guys, what you're seeing here, number one with this bullish Harami cross, this is what I want you to think of this as. Harami or Harami, whichever way you'd like to say it in Japanese, means pregnant woman. So what you're doing is looking at this right here this long body that is the mother body and this is the child here so what you have here is a bullish harami cross this is actually more powerful than a traditional harami which a, a harami pattern here guys a normal one you'd have basically a body about this size right here in this place where you have the doji but with this doji it makes it even that much more powerful that you may have that reversal so what we're looking for here is a reversal pattern and that's that harami that we're looking at here that bullish harami cross and what we're going to be doing here we're going to be reading out of my book it's called candlestick chart and explain timeless techniques for trading stocks and futures it's by gregory l morris and we're going to go into the actual commentary and the rules of recognition for this candlestick charting pattern so if you see this guys and you're looking at it a lot of the times this will be that reversal that you're looking for so we're going to dig into this it says commentary the harami pattern consists of a long body followed by a shorter body it is the relative size of these two bodies that make the harami important remember that doji days where the open and the close price are equal represent days of indecision therefore small body days that occur after long body days can also represent a day of indecision the more the indecision and uncertainty, the more likely of a trend change. When the body of the second day becomes a doji, the pattern is referred to as a harami cross. With the cross being the doji, the harami cross is a better reversal pattern than the regular harami. So guys, what we're trying to do is put ourselves in position, position to where if we see something like this and then we have the next day follow through and a higher close up here, a lot of times that's the time to jump in. That's your confirmation so we can ride it to the... To the upside because the trend is changing and that's what we're looking for here guys and that's why I'm bringing these videos to you so that we can start spotting these things together and even down in the comments when I'm doing a Litecoin video or whatever you can say hey you know look I saw a bull Shrami cross that I may have missed but you know about it because you were, were watching these videos and really studying and learning and I'm so proud of all the people who are studying and learning this type of stuff and enjoying this and guys if you like this like subscribe hit that notification bell I appreciate it. we're trying for 100 likes on these tutorials can't do it without you so we'll dig back into this. Now the three rules of recognition for this to be valid. Number one, a long day occurs within a trending market. So this trend is down and here's your long day right here guys. Number two, the second day is a doji. The op open and the close are virtually equal. So right here, that's that open and that close completely equal right there. So we have that doji candle. And then three, the second day doji is within the range of the previous long day. So that's like we talked about that baby. So this is the mother candle and then this is the child right there. That's what you're looking for and you can see how it's within that body. It's not down here within the wicks. So really keep that in mind. That's an important part of it guys. Now the scenarios and psychology behind this pattern and why this happens. The psychology behind the Harami cross starts out the same as that for the basic Harami pattern. A trend has been in place when all of a sudden the market gyrates throughout a day without exceeding the body range of the previous day. What's worse, the market closes at the same price as it opened. Volume of this doji day also dries up, reflecting the complete lack of decision of traders. A significant reversal or trend has now occurred. Pattern flexibility. The color of the long day should reflect the trend. So this red candle this is reflecting this downtrend so that's that's key number one we got that the doji can have an open and a closed price that are within two to three percent of each other if and only if there are not many doji days in the preceding data so you don't want to have a bunch of dojis down in here guys it's not going to mean as much as if you're coming out of a downtrend and then you hit one that looks like that and then you start moving to the upside even more than that next thing it says the pattern breakdown and guys, this is the bullish harami. This can also be a top pattern as well, just so you know there's a bearish harami cross, which I'll do in a separate video. This one I just want to focus on the bullish, but my, my book says here, the bullish and bearish harami cross is reduced to a single lines that support their interpretation in most instances. The body of the single day reduction can be considerably longer than what is allowed for a paper umbrella or hammer line candle. The fact that the breakdown is not contrary to the pattern is supportive. 
And then the related patterns, the Harami cross could possibly be the beginning of a rising or a falling three method, depending on the next few days price action. The rising and fall, falling three methods patterns are continuation patterns, which are in conflict with the signal given by the Harami cross. So guys, what we're trying to do here is basically just spot things like this. And if we pick this out, it's like almost reading music in a way. If we can pick these things out and we see confirmation the next day and say that was on good volume, that would be a good time to jump in because most likely the trend is going to change. Just like up here, do you see how we are in this uptrend? So we were moving up, and then this candle here, we had a bearish engulfing candle, which, which showed us that we would probably be getting pushed to the downside, and that's exactly what we saw right here. So guys, it's really important to learn these things and study these things because the more that we learn, the, the greater advantage we're going to have. What we're trying to do, we're not market makers. We're trying to ride the coattails of the market makers. So if we can get a jump on these things and we see a bearish engulfing candle like that and we say, hey, we better get out of there. We see a bearish engulfing candle. We're getting some confirmation. You can really save yourself you know, all this percentage in loss. And just like this, if you can pick up this little three pattern here, this is a two candlestick pattern, but I'm just saying with that continuation, you, you can make money. The, the people who are successful are the people who can pick out the trend changes the fastest. That's what people are paid the big money for. So, guys, we're going to try to do our best here. If you like these tutorials, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I appreciate you being here with me. And I'll just keep doing these. And if you haven't seen any of the other ones, go into the playlist. And I got a bunch of tutorials in there. I really hope you guys will study them and learn some stuff. And all this is just out of books, guys, encyclopedia chart pattern, all these candlesticks books. I'm just trying to give you the best information I can. So, really put it to use, guys, and uh, do the best you can. God bless you all.